This is problem number three on the free response, and it asks us to find i to the 98th plus 1 over i. So for this problem, the test is to know uh, those definitions for complex numbers. So the first things to know are the i to the 0 power, the repeating patterns for i. So we know i to the 0 power, i to the 1st power, i to the 2nd power, i to the 3rd, after this, it just starts to repeat back from here. So we just have to see how many times around this cycle it'll go if we want to find i to the really high power, like i to the 98th. So I'll show you that. Let's go first through what these values are. i to the 0 is like any number that's to the 0 power, which is 1. i to the 1st is just i, and also the definition of i is square root of negative 1. And that's going to give us i squared. So squaring this, we get just negative 1. i to the third, the trick here is to, to just uh, divide this up into i squared and just i to the first power. Remember that for i, it's the same thing as for any, any other variable that um, when you have these separated like that, uh, you add 2 and 1 get 3, and that's how it works. You don't multiply 2 times 1, because that, that would give you i squared, and that's not i to the third. So these are added. And so when we plug in for i squared, negative 1 times i, we get negative i. And lastly, this one can be divided into i squared uh, times i squared. 2 plus 2 is 4. So then Plugging in i squared, we get negative 1 times negative 1, which gives me 1. So this is the repeating pattern. We get i, negative 1, negative i, and then positive 1. When we go to i, I to the fifth, we uh, the answer we get is back to i. This would be i to the sixth, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth. For example, let's do i to the fifth to prove that. So the way we would do this, since it's a very low number, we could work it, work it the same way that we work these guys. So we could separate that into i to the fourth times i, or the same thing as i to the second times i to the second times i. 4 plus 1 is 5, 2 plus 2 plus 1 is also 5. So let's do it this way. i, I to the fourth, we said here that it was 1 times i. So this would give me just i. Like I said, to the fifth should be here, right after four. So it's a repeating pattern. So now let's see how to solve when the number, the, the power of i is really, really high. We can't just manually write how many twos are going to be there because that's a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and shortcut this. So we're going to use this to solve for i to the 98. So what we're going to do is find a way that we could divide 98 um, and get an even number back. So 98 is divisible by 2, for example. So let's do that. 98 divided by 2 gives me 49. Okay? So I can rewrite this as i to the second times 49. Notice that I cannot write this to be equal to i squared times i to the 49 because what this is is I'm adding those two. That would give me i to the 51. So I can't rewrite this into this form. That's not what we want to do. But I can, what I can visualize is i to the second being multiplied 49 times. So just like before for i to the fifth, remember, I multiplied i to the second twice and then times an i. In this case, what I'm going to have is i to the second, not twice, but 49 times. So basically, let's do this. i to the second, i to the second, i to the second. 49 times. 
So visualize this, and now let's think this through. Um, because this could be either the second, this could be a negative one or a positive one, since we don't know how many times it's going to go through. So if it's, um, if it's an odd number, that means we're multiplying i to the second. i to the second is 1. This many times, right? So if it's an odd number, I'm multiplying negative 1 an odd number of times. And what happens when you multiply a negative number an odd number of times, you end up with a negative number. But if you had multiplied a negative number an even number of times, if this was 48 instead of 49, that would have given me um, a positive one, which is this answer here. Okay? So just keep in mind um, the the pattern. You can write it out like this if you if you want to visualize it. And also remember that this number is actually important. It doesn't just mean that it's multiplied, it, you know, a huge number of times. It also tells you if it's odd or if it's even, if your final answer is going to be positive or negative. So here i to the 98 ends up being just negative 1, and we have just simplified that. Now, let's do 1 over i, which is the second factor here. So, we don't know 1 over i, which is i to the negative 1. We don't know that because it's not on the chart. So something we could do uh, to find a number that we know is try to cancel this i here. And the way we're going to do that is, let's try to convert this i into i squared, which is a number that we know that's non -com not complex. So, to change this to i squared, we're just going to multiply it by another i, and if we do that, then we need to multiply the top as well. So we end up with i over i squared. And this kind of seems weird, because why would you want to just add an i there? But with complex numbers, it's not weird. It's just because this actually gives me a negative 1. So that converts to i over negative 1, which is just negative i. So we found each of these factors, and let's just plug them in to get negative 1 minus i. And that's your final answer, which that would be answer D.